Hello and welcome to Chandu.org. In this video, we are going to look at five really simple steps that you can take to create amazing charts every time. I'm going to use a very simple example of some sort of fictional data. Let's say you are in uh, an IT project testing team and you are looking at some issues that have been opened and closed. Uh, in the past two weeks. So we have some dates and number of issues that are open and number of that are number of issues that are closed. And if you were to just select this and create a default Excel bar chart or a column chart, this is what you would get. Now by no means this chart is ugly. I mean this is fairly reasonable. It is kind of pick the well co good colors and everything the defaults but we can still go and make this an amazing chart that tells a story so this is one version of that kind of an amazing chart what we could do is uh, this chart gives the same information but it provides it in a much cleaner simpler fashion so let's go and see the five steps I have a very simple slideshow uh, in case uh, you know how to do these steps at the end of the slideshow, you can stop the video and go ahead with whatever you are doing. If you are not exactly sure how to do those five steps, then continue watching to see the Excel tutorial as well where I will apply those five steps. So step number one, pick the colors. Now Excel does a good job, especially modern versions of Excel of picking the, the colors when you set up the series. That said, depending on where this chart is going, if it is to go on a presentation, then you may want to add some background color or something else that will make these colors pop. So that's number one. Number two is axis. Now notice how the default axis sometimes gets uh, goes in, in an angle depending on what kind of data it is. And there is a lot of redundant information like 2020 is repeated all the way. Uh, assuming your audience know where this is, there is no need to kind of go very specific on these dates. So you could kind of make a simpler formatting on the date for 16 March like that. Now, if you were to have a Excel data like this and you create the chart, you would notice that after 20th of March, we jump to 23rd because uh, we assume that Saturday and Sunday are not working and nobody has reported any issues or closed them. So normally Excel chart when you create would have a gap also in this axis. For the sake of simplicity, I've removed that gap. But if there is a gap, then you can also use text formatting on the chart axis to get rid of that kind of a unnecessary gaps uh, for this kind of data. So that's step number two. When you're formatting uh, axis, you're not only worried about horizontal axis, you are also looking about vertical axis and uh, making the text uh, smaller and duller than it needs to be. Uh, sometimes you may debate the existence of this axis and remove it and go with the data labels as well. The third step is gaps. The default Excel charts have way too much gap for my liking and I believe that's the case for most people as well. So you may want to reduce that gap by uh, setting the internal gap to zero and in between series gap to maybe 100% or 50% or something. That will make the actual bars or columns take up more space. The next step is legend. While the default Excel chart legend usually goes at the bottom, it's a good idea to keep the legend up ahead so that when people read the chart, they go from top to bottom, they can immediately see what color corresponds to what and interpret the charts better. Okay, so that's the next step. These are all very, very easy steps. The fifth step is to add a title and if possible, some sort of a caption so that it becomes a narrative. So for example, rather than simply saying issues or chart title one or something like that, go with uh, something that is more meaningful for the context of this data. You could say something like 89% issue close rate in last two weeks. You could even specify the date range and you can add a subtitle or a caption that can explain what happened like total open 430, close of 382, hence that 89% rate. You could add other elements like um, most issues have opened uh, on 20th March or 26th of March or most closed on 17th March or 27th March or, or, or you know some sort of information uh, about what's happening or what, what was the most interesting data points. 
so those are five steps uh, now if you know how to do these five steps as i said earlier you can stop this video you can go back to doing what you're doing uh, but if you're not familiar with the five steps then you can watch me explain how to do this in excel in a while i just have a few more slides for you uh, here are a few more examples of this idea implemented for example here is a sales trend of uh, some made up company and you could see title and uh, caption and uh, access and everything beautifully done along with uh, an important data point highlighted uh, here is another example where we have so many colors so again we selected a simple color and highlighted the department that has highest productivity in a sim in a different color so it pops out uh, and uh, in case you are working with tables or more comprehensive displays you can still apply these ideas by selecting simpler colors and uh, adding labels only at important data points rather than everywhere and that would make all of this look really good so that's it i will uh, now jump into the excel workbook where we will look at these five steps so here is our our default chart that is created and we will turn that into this chart in in a just uh, a few five steps so we start by selecting the step number one which is colors we're happy with these colors let's go and add a shape fill color to the chart so this is what it becomes uh, and as you could see the grid lines have kind of become invisible so i'm going to make the grid lines a bit more uh, darker but i will also make them dashes rather than uh, lines uh, this will kind of reduce the thing um, then the next step is uh, axis so we will select this axis we will press ctrl 1 to format it go to the number area and from here uh, just type the code dmmm uh, date and month and then we will add that this is one i'm going to show you one other trick for example you have a very um, large date range and uh, you could see that this mar is repeated as well that's not necessary so maybe we can just show 16 march 2020 here and then simply say the date 17 18 like that how do you do them something like this well it's very simple you would select these dates um, the very first one and then press ctrl 1 to format that date and from here in the number area just go to custom and uh, select a date format or, or maybe date and just select a date format that is what you want so this is the format that you want very first date everything else we will select ctrl 1 uh, and uh, simply say d for date now once that is done we will select the axis uh, this time we will go to number and link it to source so this is how that will come up uh, excel still wants to go in the sideways we can do undo this behavior by using that little button there uh, and click on it uh, once and then click on it again and that will uh, undo this if you reduce the size of it then it will kind of give all the labels mm, so that's uh, step number um, two the step number three is gaps so we will simply select one of these columns press ctrl one gap width would be 100 percent and series overlap would be set to zero so that that gap uh, is is reduced and step number four is legend so we select the legend and we move it to the top position and then while it is there we just move it somewhere inside uh, we can fill up some color on the legend so that it it is easy to set that apart from rest of the material on the screen uh, again uh, it's a good idea to have these supporting elements in a dull color and uh, smaller font size the last step is title uh, for this purpose you would need to have the title typed out somewhere uh, that will make the whole process easy i have calculated the title and caption values here so i will select the title box click on the formula bar and then says equal to and then point to this this way the title can remain dynamic and then once the title is done i will just move it to the side uh, make it bold so that it pops and then while keeping the chart selected we can insert a text box inside the chart to show the caption because the chart can only have title there is no caption option so we'll just select the text box again click on the formula bar say equal to so this text box shall be read from that cell and then that will show up there we will align it in the middle make it small make it dull and uh, that is it that's those are the five steps now if you want you can also add some visual elements to make it look a bit more professional or interesting one of my favorite tricks is to usually add a uh, a rectangle shape in the top left corner uh, 
something like this and then just hold down the alt key so that it kind of sticks to the edge and make this um, a darker version of the background color so that it looks uh, something like this and then you can move these uh, elements also um, closer to that bit there so that's uh, how you will make uh, any normal ordinary chart to an amazing chart in five simple steps i hope you found this particular video interesting and useful if you want to download a copy of this file just to practice or whatever uh, click in the video description and grab a link from there there is also a few more resources in the video link that will help you learn how to work with charts better thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you again in the next video Bye bye